Welcome back to Life in Sujo. I am Flo. I am Chris. I am Leon. I am Caesar. I am Elos. <laughs> <laughs> so today we decided to visit Tongli because it's a great, fantastic little water town, only 30 minutes away of Sujo, and it's very famous for its canals, its bridges. So let's have a look together. Yeah, <laughs> So Tongli is one of the many water towns in these regions. So these towns were in fact market places where the, the farmers from the surrounding villages would come and bring and sell their rice and their production. So it's a very nice uh, canal system full of boats and uh, it has kept its, its original scale. So that's what makes it very cute and very, very special. So here we are, a very special place. It's somehow the center of Tongli because it brings together three different bridges that are connecting the different islands. Tongli, like most water towns, is in fact a collection of islands and uh, these bridges are therefore very important and meaningful. And actually they're shaped in very uh, famous and typical from uh, the Jainan area. Uh, we call them um, Moon Bridge because of the half circle shape with the reflection in the water, it creates a perfect circle with a perfect moon. So great, let's cross the bridge. Let's have a look. <laughs> so there are, there are in fact several water towns, I think about more than 100 in the Jiangnan region. But this one, Tongli, is I guess my favorite one. Because first, it's, it's very close to Sujo. This is always the place where we bring our friends and family when they visit us. But also, it's very well preserved. And what is very special is that local people are still living inside uh, the town. So you can see inside the houses, you can really feel the, the traditional lifestyle. So that's what we really like here. Uh, so it's very nice. People are always very friendly with, uh, with us and with the children, especially they are always asking questions and uh, people here are very curious about yeah, our life or our family. So all the water town in the Jainan area um, used to serve uh, Sujonese food and actually each one has its own uh, specialties. I think Tongli is like um, uh, pig feet or pastry, but if you want to try something else, there are a lot of things you can discover. And it's a perfect uh, destination for a day trip for families or couples or singles. Uh, there are many activities to be done here, like a boat tour. And in fact, it's a very slow pace of life. Uh, it's like a kind of slow tourism, which is very different from the a hectic atmosphere you would find in the big the big cities around. Okay, food is here, so oh, we have to start. Okay, let's start. Let's have a try. So living in China for a foreign family may be a bit challenging, but uh, Suzhou is quite a, a good place to start uh, because it's a perfect match between the Chinese culture and the international atmosphere. And also it's extremely green and for our kids it was a great opportunity to learn Chinese culture but also Chinese language. Um, so yes, it's really a great experience. Okay, after a long walk, let's go to have some rest. Oh, great. Let's go. There is a performance in a, in a tea house. Let's go. So now we are about to attend um, a performance of the traditional opera, which is called Ping Tan. Oh, 
Okay, we just uh, saw a performance of traditional opera. I didn't understand anything, but apparently it's normal because they use a very traditional um, Sudanese dialect. So now, where, where could we go? Uh, we are going to Tui Suyuan. Let's go! <laughs> So Suzhou is uh, world famous for its gardens. It's, they are protected by the UNESCO as World Heritage. And here it's a special one because it's in Tongli, in a small water town next to Suzhou. And what they have in common is that they're, each time they were created by government officials who worked in the, the court in Be Beijing and then came back. And why is it called uh, Tuoisu Gardens? Apparently it means retreat and reflect because this specific uh, governor was accused of corruption and then this place was meant to for him to reflect How about and make an introspection uh, to think about his past. They are very specific for is that they are a sort of a miniature representation of the world. So you see there's a recreation of different types of landscapes, small mountains. So these, these gardens, they were never redesigned really with a plan. They were more composed from a number of viewpoints. So they have a very important picturesque uh, uh, value. For instance, here we are from one of the viewpoints where you can appreciate it. But as you move around, you will discover uh, uh, new perspectives. And that's what makes them very interesting. So most of these gardens, they were built in the center of the town or the city in a very uh, small uh, spaces. So they had to uh, kind of magnify, give the feeling that uh, the space is bigger than it really is. That's one of the reasons why they use the water as a, as a mirror. You just see the, the space is, looks much bigger than it really is. Okay, this is the end of the day. We spent a great day in Tongli water town. We've seen many different mm -hmm. things. What, what did you like most? The garden. The garden. Of course. Food. The food? The pink time show. And actually we would recommend to stay for one night. Um, it, there are many very nice places to stay. And uh, so you can enjoy the, the night scene and also in the morning, very quiet and uh, foggy uh, atmosphere. Uh, so definitely uh, we will come back if you like the video please like share and subscribe see you next time bye, bye, -bye. bye, -bye.